If you want to layer your objects, when I say objects, any smart art graphics, shapes, pictures, we're working with shapes here, it's all the same as far as the steps go, where what you're looking at are three simple shapes because I want to keep this exercise simple. I've got the magenta square that's at the bottom, and I want to bring it forward so it's on top. How can I do that? Well, after you have it selected, come up here and click on the Format tab, go to the Arrange group, and there you go, Bring Forward. You can see when I hover over it, it says it'll bring that object forward one level. And how many levels do I have? Well, it depends on how many objects you have within your worksheet. Right now I just have three shapes, so I got three levels. Blue is on the top level, level one. Yellow is level two. And then, of course, this one's level three. If I had also an organization chart and maybe a picture, that would be five levels because you have three plus the two. So if I go ahead and click on bring forward a level, now it's on the second level where now the yellow shape is behind that. It's on level three. Then I can bring it forward again. So level one now, instead of blue, which is level two, is going to be magenta. And then level three is the yellow shape. Of course, you can go ahead and click on send backwards, send backwards one level at a time. But there's got to be something easier to quickly bring a shape forward if you've got a lot of shapes or objects to the very top level and not have to keep clicking on bring forward, bring forward. You can click on the drop down arrow. And there's bring to the front, boom. Puts it right to the very front of all the other levels. And of course, you can do it by going all the way to the back in a single click. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and resize the magenta shape. I'm going to hover in the upper right-hand corner over that resizing handle until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. And click and drag and push that in. And then I click off, and I'm like, oh, how do I get a hold of that shape without moving these two here so I can bring it to uh, the front? You can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either go ahead and select one of the shapes and hit the tab key to cycle through the other shapes or objects. And you can see it's selected right there. With it selected, then you can come up here on the Format tab and say Bring Forward, and your work's done, right? Or you can go ahead and hit Undo. You can come up here on the Format tab to the Arrange group and click on Selection Pane. And it has a selection of all the objects you can select. And you can see that Rectangle 3 is selected. And I can also go ahead and choose Parallelogram. And then go ahead and say, well, it's already to the front, but let's go back to rectangle 3 and then bring to the front. That works. And by the way, as I said, you can hit the tab key, but if you hold down the shift key and you hit tab, it goes backwards. So if you have three objects here, well, let me go ahead and do one, two, three, and close out of here. When I hit the tab key, well, it's going to uh, that layer. And then the next layer, if I hold down the shift key and hit tab, it goes backwards. Let me go ahead and hit undo so we can get back to where we started here. And then finally, if I like what I see here, and I want to be able to move this over, I don't know, just even like a millimeter, just clicking and dragging puts it off, doesn't it? Let me hit undo. You could say, hey, why don't you go ahead and select all of them at once? That's true. Hold down the shift key and click on all the other objects. And if you're having trouble selecting all the objects, of course, you got the selection pane. You can see all of them are selected. You can go ahead and, well, let me click off and come over here and hold down the control key to click on each one of these so all of them are selected. And of course you can go ahead and hide them if you don't want to see them. Show them all if you do want to see them. Or do it individually so you can actually hide it temporarily to take a look at, well, what's behind it. In any case, let's go ahead and close out of that. And I'll just do a simple shift click on each one of these. And then you can click and drag it, move it around. But if you have to keep moving it around, Shift clicking on each one of these to select all of them can be a bit tedious. So instead, select them all one time and then group them. So it sees the uh, shapes as one entire shape. And you can come up here and click on the Format tab, go to the Arrange group and click on the drop down arrow to group or right click the selection. You want to make sure that you're not moving your mouse when you're right clicking, because otherwise you'll get the shortcut menu to move or copy um, what you're doing here. We'll click Cancel. So hold the mouse still, right click. And go ahead and say group, and there we go. It sees these three separate shapes as one shape. Then I can click and drag, click off, click and drag, click off. And then, of course, you can right click if you need to format these shapes individually and ungroup. And then click off, select one, and do whatever you need to do. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.